and welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. Luke Olvey here alongside Rich Beam at uh, the Copperhead course at Innersbrook, Rich. A soft opening to what's going to be a very challenging day. It's an easy opening, but in saying that, if you get a little bit out of position here at the first par 5, 560 yards, uh, you're in a world of hurt. You have out of bounds left that sneaks into you a little bit quicker, bunkers down the fairway that you want no part of. All in all, if you walk off of this hole with a five, you're really not disappointed. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Well, you love this player. Why wouldn't you wait to see how this player plays? You just you have a poster of this player at home, don't you? A two. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. One putt or fewer. Let's, uh, yeah, let's take it down here. Mm. Try to overhead mm. it a bit. A bit of beauty. Thank you, thank you. Second shot here on the first. Through 15 yard carry, so. to try to bring it back a little bit. There's the green rolling a bit too. Let's see. Going with a three wood here. It's in the white. So I don't want it to roll too far over. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking in on this par five and two. Putting for Eagle here. Ooh. It's on a good line. Whew. Oh. Hello, welcome to the course. Welcome yep. to the course. Kind of starting it off with a, starting it off with a nice eagle. Currently a couple under for the round. We have a par four on this one. Nice hole, the last one coming off that eagle. Let's see what's in store for us now. Let's put it here. Maybe bend a bit. <clears throat> Not a bad line, this one. And let's have a look at Tony Finau from earlier. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Nicely Ooh. done from close range. Tony Finau. Let's get back to it, shall we? From about 100 yards. go let's see how it rolls though Ooh. pay attention folks that's how you play golf but slow on the right on 10 feet a good one to make okay steady now what? opportunity to make their par that green wasn't even moving yeah well hold let's move on to the next that green wasn't even moving He's currently tied for second. The Copperhead course at Innisbrook can really bite you, especially if you're slightly wayward, and there's one of those holes right here at the third, Rich. Decisions mm -hmm. to be made. The fairway narrows up should you take driver out, also the water on the right, so players more than likely laying back with some kind of fairway wood. Um, I don't know. Let's maybe put it here and then let it bend around. Let's see. Take a risk. 
Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. It's Johnny okay. Mack, what's the news? We'd rather play it safe. Fourth ball, guys. Could just get ready for his next shot? Rather play it safe. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, what a shot! And mark him down for a birdie. Oh, mark him down for a birdie. Punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed! <laughs> mhm. Mm I'd rather go with the seven iron and put a little bit there. Don't know how much this will roll. Let's see. Oh, I under hit Going it. With the seven. Could work to my favor, though. Ooh, very slow greens. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Very, very slow greens. Ooh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. And now, when it is pulling, nothing happens. Oh, just missed. Big putt for par coming up. And down it goes. These greens Let's are very funny. Next. Very, very funny. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after Slow, that. Slow, and then when it shows that it's not doing something, it does something. When it shows that it's doing something, it didn't. So... Teeing off here at the four. I have to figure that out. I've even got my four iron that I can. Hmm. Opting for the five Let's iron. Rather give it some power. This looks to be heading to the green. Greens are slower. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Well, oh, that's beautifully judged. And this part for a share of the lead. Hey, nice looking line. Well done. Take the birdie. And that will take him to I three. Will do so indeed. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. The oh, snake looking to make a statement here. Going with driver off the tee. What do you mean make a statement? That's what you do. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. That's what you do for a par four. Rich, this Larry Packer design back in 1974 is a par 71, but it's over 7,200 yards Let's just outside of Tampa. Strong course. Let's, oh, uh, it's, it's really strong. I got to say, this golf course, there's no let up in it. Every hole makes you think. It's relentless. Thankfully, there is a steakhouse just off Ooh, the I'm taking a chance here, though. I had a steak in there last night, a big bone-in ribeye. Oh, my goodness gracious. It was glorious. But anyways, back to the golf course. Really difficult. Okay, I'm taking a risk here. I'm taking a risk here. Let's see. Interesting choice of the driver here. Let's see. Oh, oh I just Sitting didn't make it on. Minus three. Currently tied for first place. It's okay. It was worth the risk. Uh, yeah. Let's slob this up. Ooh. Ooh. What a shot that was. Making the difficult look very easy. A well, wonderful part. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. Back to back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. He's currently in a share of top spot. Moving in the right direction there, Luke. Ugh. <sighs> The sixth hole at Innersbrook's Copperhead Course, Rich. It's a challenging one, isn't it? If you find the fairway off the tee here, you are an amazing human being. The fairway tilts from right to left very significantly. Holding the fairway is almost impossible. 
So then I'm going to put a little bit of curve on it. So hopefully it goes up. Hopefully I'll be that awesome human being they're talking about. Let's see how it bounces. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, just off. Uh-oh, we're starting to hear roars from another part of the course. I'll tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. Looking forward to seeing what Tony Finau does here, Rich. Let's return to live play now. Just off the fairway in the first cut. Pitching wedge. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Got to give it a bit of power out of the rough there. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Ooh. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. It's got a chance. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. And with that, he'll move to five under par. That rolled quite a bit. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. That is right down the sprinkler line. Let's hope it stays up and doesn't run down. Which it does. Coming off a string of three birdies. I'm going to just take this, yeah. Take the pitch from there. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. And that putt will drop and he'll extend his lead. And that will move him to six under par. Our current leader is enjoying a two stroke lead. We have a par three on this one. Yeah, I still need to. Opa. What's that? No. Let's do the driver. Oh no. I have to go with the three wood. Okay. Let's see how Upting this goes. The three wood. Upting. I have to take the three wood. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Starting my under armour. And this effort by Justin Thomas. My under armour sunglasses. Newly sponsored. Third shot now. Okay, let's get back to the action. This putt coming up is for birdie. Please go in. It's got a chance. Cool. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Still in the lead now after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. I need to drive very far, so... Don't have wind against me. Should I try to do it here? 103 percent. And you go over 320. Ooh, nice. Yes, got 320. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Yes, I was. Ooh. That was wonderfully done. Putting for birdie. 
mark it down. That's Ooh. six birdies today. And that will take him to eight under. Let's head to the 10th hole for this awesome highlight. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Lining up for his third now. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. This shot from 120 yards. With a gap wedge. Ooh, I might have hit it a little bit too hard, but let's see. Going for the pin. This one is chewing fiber. What a quality shot that was. Yes, got to think that's a certain birdie from there. And that certainly makes putting easier, doesn't it? Leading by six strokes after that one. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Big par five. Let's put it winding around a bit. Give it some extra power. That should find the fairway. Where's my... Three wood. Three wood on the 15 yard carry. Okay, if I hit it over a little bit, so if I overhit it a bit, it should bounce on the. There you go. Well, it might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Should bounce over. Here we go. Nice. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Oh. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Not a bad line, this. Drop the oh, eagle. Mate. What an eagle. Okay, I think I finished my... Um, I think I finished my, my sponsorship from Tony tasks. Just a short time ago. So I'm all good with that. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Yeah. Well, that's huge momentum they're bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. Ooh. Let's see what's happening here. If I put it there, it will roll down. Good looking shot, this. That bounces to the left. Ooh. There we go. Second shot here on the 12th. A nice lob wedge for a two yard carry. A little bit hard, I think. Oof. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Close, just close, close. The top of the leaderboard. Currently in first position. Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. Four irons, it's got a seven yard carry. Five irons, seven yard carry as well. Yeah, let's maybe, yeah, let's maybe go four iron. So wait, that's,
Mm. And it's rolling down. So let's go there and hopefully it will roll down. Going with the four iron here. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. I think it should roll to the right though, if anything. Oh, well, there we go. Take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hole. Gotta like it. That Two was a potential a uh, hole in one, I think. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Always lovely to see a long-range bomb made. Let's recap it. Let's that just hole behind see. Us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. at a par five remember a great drive sets up a strong birdie or even eagle opportunity come on there you go uh, three wood take the driver so maybe throw a bit of a bend on it That one's heading down Broadway. I think I might Done. have cut my angle now. What's going on? Talk to us, I think I might have Just cut my angle. 15th, watching Matt Kuchar set up his next shot. And the player's left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? Time for the second shot at the 14th. Tree wood. And I'm, what I'm going over the trees, yeah. And I would want to wind it a bit there. So then it rolls. So that it rolls up. Whew, this is a bit of a chance. Let's see. Will it roll up to the right? Or will it land in the sand? I'll take that, I'll take that. Getting ready to play their third. Lob wedge. Pitch. A little bit to the side. Quite a bit of roll going on here. Ooh, Oof. almost went in. Almost. That dog on. Oh, almost. Good chance this one. Right on six feet. Yeah. I thought as much. is rolling hectically. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Let me try to put it here and hopefully it will just bounce on. And I won't hit it 100% either. With the five iron here. Let's see how it bounces. Please bounce on. Whew. I like that, didn't you? 12 feet to the cup coming up.
tracking. Fair effort, that. Good nice. birdie. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. Currently 15 under par for the event. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Okay, I'm just going to hit it here and then hopefully it just rolls up onto that hill. I'm not even going to bend it. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Pitching wedge well, that was one yard. absolutely met. Great strike. Okay, I'll take this. I'll take this. Yeah, let's do this. The Callaways. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. And this effort by Justin The Callaway Joss. Matrix. This would be a no? Mavericks. You're getting this Mavericks, up sorry. Not Matrix. Mavericks. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. This one's for Birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. He sits in first position. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Can the Copperhead's penultimate hole is a good par three playing up the hill. It's a tough tee shot. Plays longer than what's on the yardage. Any pin that's in the front part of the green is a difficult one to find as the green is so narrow. Hmm. Let's give it some roading space. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Give it some rolling space. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the green oh, wow. regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. My bad. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. My bad, my bad. Let's head over to the 18th hole, shall we? From 130 yards out. Choosing the 9-iron here. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Ooh, what a lovely position hole for to the be. Day. Holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Last one for the day. That's, uh... Oh, driver. Okay. How's it looking? Yeah, how's it looking? Let's put it around here. Oh, seems we've got a big piece of that one. Striped. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. I think it's more like a gaggle of birdies, isn't it, Luke? Gaggle? Gaggle of birdies? A bonanza. Bonanza of birdies. Yeah. All right, beauty. Yes, the only thing that could ruin it now is a triple bogey. Let's see. Well, this one's right at the pin. Ooh. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th. And a Thank chance you. for Birdie at the Thank last. Thank you. Thank you. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Well, all that hard work. It's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. And this is for the tournament win. I finished all my sponsorships and I mean all my sponsorship tasks and uh, and let's finish this off with a nice birdie. And as that puck drops to the bottom rich, they are now the Valspar champion. What a performance. Yeah, what a performance, what a win. I mean just this player was just amazing all week long. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich B, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.
there's my screenshot. The Avolspa Champion Chip Champion. The exact 10. And there we have it. The Volspar Championship. Another one down, another one about to the dust. Until next time, we will head to part 19.